express myself. I think if I didn't have music, I'd probably be a pretty different person. Music, uh, if I were to put a percentage to it, would probably be about <laughs> around 50% of my life. It's something else. It's it's like, like it's, I don't know, it's like a supreme being in a way. And, you know, when it comes to most music, the, the meaning is kind of like one of the most important things. And I try to focus on that sometimes when I'm listening to certain things, so yeah, you know. It's creation. Hello. Welcome to the special presentation of music and life. Normally, we would take time to examine the lives of music artists and recognize the positive effects these artists' music has on others. However, today we will find the answer to a big question. Why is music important? Along the way, we will find out why children should be exposed to music. As always, I am your unseen host, Matthew Wright. To all first-time viewers, this whole show started when I enrolled myself in a class called GT Independent Research. Throughout the course of the school year, I did extensive research on the effects of music in an attempt to find out what ways music helps individuals best. After the year ended, I went on to create this show, where I would give specific examples of how music helps others by examining the lives of professional music artists and producers and explaining how their music has helped others. I even did a special on the great Michael Jackson. Rest in peace. This episode, I will reveal to you my final project from that class, the video that started it all. Let's get right to it, shall we? With the rise of rap and rock music came insane levels of profanity and the respective inappropriate music videos. Since then, parents have strived to protect their children from such bad influences. This is ideal, for no child should have to hear such language, nor see such images. However, there are a few who have gone above and beyond, forbidding their children from listening to music. Some go so far as to make sure their children are in no way exposed to music whatsoever. Now, I am here to explain that music can help. But don't take my word for it. I went ahead and asked a few special individuals what they thought on whether music can help people and how. Yeah, cause you can have like for me like it helps me say what I want to do and like helps me be me, but like, when you dance, it like, a quick like, when you dance and like, do dance battles, you get to see other people's type of style, you get to see their personality, and it's all laid out for them, about having the whole other boss, like, hey, my name is, yada yada. Definitely, I mean, they have music therapy out there for all types of patients and stuff like that, so music definitely does something, I mean, you can feel it in your heart, yeah, your heart, <laughs> you definitely can feel it. I think it can definitely help people. I think that music is a way to relieve stress and to express yourself. It can keep people off the streets, not doing drugs and killing each other. I found there are three ways in particular that music helps somebody. Mentally, socially, and emotionally. Here, I will explain how music helps in the ways previously mentioned.
Through my research, I found music helped a person at school, work, and or mentally. But what does this mean? Well, generally speaking, for school, when a child takes a music class, be it piano, music theory, or place where the school is banned, they get to have what they call a free period, where their minds can relax and help them focus on the rest of the day. At home, they can use music to help them to focus when they are studying. The same goes for at work. Every good employee is calm and collected, and music is a great medium to stay this way. I made a few friends who thought the same. Here's what they had to say on whether or not music has helped them at school, work, and or mentally. Like, when I feel stressed out about, say, like, we had a huge project coming up, and certain teachers or certain people didn't want to give you enough time on that stuff. Uh, say you were sick. Uh, you know, there's, there's always a song for that. Oh, this helped me in school by, um, like, a lot of times when I used to study for my tests and stuff and do homework and stuff, I always listen to music because it helped me concentrate, keep my focus. I mean, it helps me get through work days <laughs> when I'm bored at work because um, I usually like put on like a Pandora or something on my phone and, you know, it helps me get through the work day a little bit quicker. Um, I mean, in school, it's helping me because it really gave me something to do. Um, I didn't expect to go, go to college um, and when I actually got the opportunity to go, um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. And um, I really had to do some, 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 some inside seeking of myself and to really figure out what I wanted to do. And the only thing that I was good at, the only thing that I loved to do was music. So I said, why not? If that's going to make me happy, then that's what I'm going to do. I also wondered how music could help a person socially. Every person needs a friend, someone they can turn to for anything, depending on their personal situation. A friend could be more beneficial than a family member. Music is a great tool for meeting other people. It is one of the best known common interests. Noting that a person may participate in a different form of music performance or prefers a different genre of music to listen to is great because a person becomes more accepting and comfortable around others. And remember, you don't know who's who. Meeting one person can lead into meeting a whole branch of influential people. Um, I've made a lot of friends through the company and stuff. Um, I've met people who otherwise I wouldn't have talked to, I guess. Like, I just, um, it, you can relate to them in the same way that you're both, like, enjoying the same thing and both have a common interest. I've made a few friends in guitar class and I've been able to connect with a couple people at different music stores that I know that play guitar. And my uncle plays guitar, so we kind of connect over that now. When I was in middle school, I was in the band, which always opened up another group of friends because we went on, we went on to Hershey Park together and a lot of my close friends were in band. Well, you, you get to meet some really great people. You, you, if you go and you play around, just go play places, do things, you know, if you, you run into some really great people, some very interesting people, you know, um, and you, you network with them, talk to them, be in bands with them. You know, it really helps you expand your, your, your horizons and your social criteria. Socially, um, honestly, I've had, you know, I've had friends who, who rap and friends who sing as well as that, or both, you know. Um, and, you know, we've done different things from uh, collaborations, uh, making beats, or they've made beats for um, me and the group and everything. And then, um, you know, we just have fun with it, man. Emotionally, that's the big one. Every person faces stress. It is a part of life. No matter how minor the situation might be, Stress is definitely something we want to avoid. The same goes for any other negative emotion. Our actions are based off of our thoughts, which are biased off our emotions. In the right mood, we can make some terrible mistakes. For many, music is used to calm us down and motivate us, based off our current conditions and has more times than not been found stress relieving.
when I'm upset, click on my favorite song, I just kind of sit back, relax, and think about why it is I'm upset, and it helps me to see myself, you know, like, outside of my body, it puts me, I guess, I guess, in a weird way, it puts me into the song, and I'm kind of watching myself, so it, it helps me to just figure out what's on my mind. I really, I would love to add to it, but it's like, I can't, it has, you have to be there in that moment, it's kind of a certain moment kind of thing, where you're mad, or you're upset, and then you get, I just get in there, and I start, and I don't know how to express what's happening. help her with anger issues or whatever and when you're feeling stressed it does help calm you down and emotionally if I'm listening to the right music I will even out because there will be those points where you're high or you're mad or whatever or you're low because you're like sad because something just happened or whatever something but the music in a sense along with time helps you sort of get closer to that even point that's just that's, it's just like a catalyst for a change music that relates to those times and see how like those artists coped with that through their music. Shadies, uh, yeah. It took a while to figure out what I should do and how to say it. Never change it. Pick up the mic and then spray it. The ludicrous outcomes of my verbal intuition. I did a couple laptop records, man, in the new edition. But had some key points missing. The plot and the mindset was out of my head. And the truth about my passion I just can't understand. So I made up a plan. <laughs> and took the fiction out of context and switched it with a flow that's so true they can't deny this. Huh. What could I do but override this and hope my voice can carry a tune instead of silence?